So we're here at the 10th year of Thriller Fest, and you, you said you've been here almost every year or every year? Yes, I came here in 2000, and I think they started in 2005, and yeah. I was at the very first Thriller Fest that was in Phoenix, Arizona. It was a lot of fun. It was very different from being in New York, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. How has it helped you as a writer? Oh, it's been in, in, very important. I mean, I've taken classes, so the panels, so I've seen, gotten tips on how to write. Uh, I met my agent here. My agent had been, and I had been corresponding. She asked for a full, and I said, you know, gave her the full. She read it. She said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to accept it at this time. I said, well, listen, that's a shame. I will meet you at Thriller Fest because I know you're going to be there. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, actually, I'm not. And I said, well, okay, I'll say hello to the head of the house and tell them I'm the one, you know, because I just wanted to hear why she yeah. was not going to pick up that, that manuscript. Well, it turns out I got here. I went to the Agent Fest, and I went up to the head of the agency and said, hi, you don't know me, but one of your agents just took a full from me, but we're not gonna, she's not going to go forward. And she said, oh, you're looking for Barbara? She's here. She's looking for you. Go, go, go meet her. So I was able to meet her, found out that there was just one chapter that she was a little concerned about because it was a pretty rough chapter and uh, pretty dark. And she said, hey, if you rewrite it a little bit, I'll take you on. And she, we did, and she sold it in a two-book deal to HarperCollins. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's your Thriller Fest success story. <laughs> I am, I am. Thank you. Yeah. And um, tell us about your new book, The Geneva Strategy. After I, I won ITW Best Debut Novel Award, so oh, I won that for my series, my Emma Caldridge series, and the name of that book was Running from the Devil. And after that occurred, um, I had learned that the estate of Robert Ludlam, he, has, he died, he died before 9-11, and they were looking for another author to continue their Covert One series. So they interviewed ten, they were down to three, and I didn't know about it yet, and I was one of the three, and I was told after I won that award, just crying, I was all excited, and someone said, hey, by the way, you're three. So I won another award for that, Running from the Devil, and that was the Barry Award. After that award, I stepped down off the stage, and I, my agent comes running up to me, and she said, guess what? The state of Robert Ludlum, the representatives are waiting for you in the bar. Go say hello. <laughs> so I knew, I kind of knew that I'd gotten it, and uh, we did. It's the Covert One series. And are, are you involved in, in the film at all, the film series? You know, I... The one who does the contracts is the executive producer of the Bourne movies. Okay. So that's who I deal with. He's also Robert Ludlum's former agent. But I don't do anything with the movies as of yet because the movies are Bourne movies and this is a Covert One series. They may obviously have a Covert One movie. I don't know if, when that's going to happen. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. That would be exciting. It would be great. All right. Yes, it would be really great. And are you working on anything else right now? I am. My Emma Caldridge series, there's four in the series. I'm writing a fifth that, uh, I'm at 75,000 words for anyone who's an author out there. You know, I'm, I, my books are usually 90,000, so I'm 15,000 away for that. And I just delivered a manuscript to my agent. Um, the working title is Buddha's Black Soul. And she just got that here at Thriller Fest, and we'll take that out to the houses in the next couple of weeks for sale. What advice do you have to brand new authors starting out? Well, don't get discouraged. Um, I have just about every author you ask has a manuscript in the, what we call it on the shelf or in the drawer. We all probably have written one or two. I have a friend who wrote eight before she was picked up by a house. Now she's a very successful New York Times bestselling author. So even if the first doesn't sell or the second doesn't sell, if you keep going and you keep coming to conferences and learning and hearing the tips and trying to work on what you're doing, I really think you have a pretty good shot of getting somewhere. Um, I think a lot of people get discouraged, and I will be frank, it can be a very discouraging process, yeah. but I, th I think if you continue, you should, you should get somewhere. It's, and it's very exciting whether you do or not, it's wonderful to write. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you.